you thought the Luftwaffe were professional and the RAF were amateur during the Battle of Britain, you'd be wrong. I'm at Bentley Priory, fighter command during World War II, now being redeveloped. Hugh Dowding ran the Battle of Britain from a house and 57 acre estate on the Harrow Weald Ridge in Stanmore, northwest London. Here he is entertaining the King and the Queen on a visit to Bentley Priory in 1940. What Dowding accomplished was remarkable. British and Allied Spitfires and Hurricanes were up against a superior air power, but while the Luftwaffe pilots considered themselves as knights of old, in some outdated order of chivalry, Dowding was ruthless, efficient, and he won. His finest hour is now commemorated in a museum here. The view of London is more peaceful today, and it will be quieter still once the builders have moved out and the residents moved in. Three developers, Barrett, City and Country and Banner Homes are building in and around Sir John Soane's 18th century Grade 2 listed mansion house. It's obviously got a lot of historical uh, significance, the site, uh, and when we purchase a site we actually keep that in mind because obviously what we've got to develop has to be in keeping with that. Uh, and so consequently what we've developed is sympathetic to the history but also reflects a contemporary living, uh, living lifestyle as well. Barrett is building 93 new homes designed by Adam Architecture. Among the facilities and amenities at Bentley Priory are a 24-hour on-site concierge service and formal Italian gardens. The four-bedroom homes are available to move into immediately with prices starting at just under £1.8 million. In terms of the amount of the, the, the landscape that's gone on so people can really enjoy the 57 acres as part of their lifestyle behind you know, a gated environment that's secure, safe, very quiet. And, and I, I sort of categorise it as something which is um, almost like country living, but 35 minutes from, from Bond Street. The interiors of the houses, I mean, luxury is an overused word, but uh, you have made a real effort. What have you done there? The first one is the, the, the basic specification. So... Um, um, in the choice of suppliers for kitchens and tiling, uh, they're at the top end of, of, the, of the range. But it's underfloor heating, it's concrete floors, it's, it's the whole range of things which I think people at this price point, um, I would say, expect, but also demand. So, who is going to buy here? I ask the estate agent. Our buyers here are people looking for security, looking for absolute luxury living in the environment and setting of a parkland. For families it provides a very, very safe environment. Um, it also provides the best schooling, um, which I think has been the major draw to this site. Um, some of the, of the finest schools that I think uh, we seek to send our children to are situated very close to this location. For the um, older retirement empty nester, it uh, gives them an environment where they are very safe, they're very secure, they have a wonderful concierge service and they're situated in the most outstanding environment. I have one final question for Steve and it's a bit of an honesty test. Uh, right, we need to explain to viewers, uh, you're sitting in the uh, Sun Trap front garden and you're wearing a coat. Why is that? Uh, uh, sadly, we're in the cold snap that is March. Um, this morning it was absolutely glorious sunshine, but such is the fickle nature of English weather. Um, but, it, but in fairness, it is one of those environments that does look good in the winter. Right, earlier this morning I was walking around the bottom of the garden and you know, you've know you got you've, on, on the bottom of the estate and you've got snow drops and the start of daffodils coming up. And it is one of those sites that looks good in the winter. But come, come the spring, the rhododendrons start flowering and then all the, all the, all the shrubs start coming through. Uh, and um, you'll have to take my word for it, Charlie, but, but in the autumn, when the, when the massive trees um, start going golden brown, it really is a sight to behold. It's, uh, it's a beautiful environment. So there you are. You will need more than half a million pounds to buy an apartment here and nearer two million for a house. Still, good enough for the chiefs of the air staff, surely good enough for you. So that's Bentley Priory, ideal for families, perfect for empty nesters and still good for anyone looking out over London.